Hi everyone, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. Today we are going to see about how to find the step 1 impulse response of the system using Simulink. So, without any further ado, let's move to the topic. So, first import the scope. So, scope will give our output. So, then we need our transfer function. So, transfer FCN is nothing but a transfer function block. So then we need our input step. So now I am also searching for RAM. So another integrator. So wait. So first of all we are going to find the step response of the system. So, so okay. We will keep this. So, if you double tap on scope, this graph window will appear. On the notification bar, you can find view. In that configuration property, you can see a number of input ports. I am going to change it to 2. So, here we get an another port to visualize. So, I am going to connect my step input to this another port. By running this file, we can get both the inputs. Like I can get my step input and also the step response of the system. So it would be very easy for the user to do comparisons. So I am going to run this. So now you can see this blue line is my step input. So the step time is 1 and this yellow line is my step response. So step response is nothing but the response of the system when a step input is given. So next we are going to visualize the RAM response. So for that I am going to connect my RAM input. So after running this file. So you can see this blue line is my RAM input which approaches infinity as the value of time increases. So this yellow line is the response from our system when a RAM input is given to the system. So next instead of using the RAM block we can use a step block and produce a RAM response. For that again I choose the step block. Step. I am going to connect my step block to my integrator and integrator to my uh, balance setup. So, while integrating the step signal, we get a ramp signal. By running this, you can see. Mm. So, you can see the same value, I mean the same response which we have get when the ramp input is given. So, if you are good at signals and systems, you can get this because uh, step, I mean integrating the step would give a ramp or differentiating the step signal would give a impulse. All these were taught in signals and system. Uh, before learning control system, I would suggest learning signals and system is better because uh, there you will get all the basic knowledge about control system. I think I am done with my topics. Do subscribe our channel. Until then, enjoy learning. Thank you.